if 2x minus 1 squared plus ax plus 15 is equal to 4 times x plus b squared for all of x, find the possible values of a and of b. So we're going to start by multiplying out the brackets. So 2x minus 1 squared becomes 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 1, which gives us 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. We bring down the ax and the plus 15 and the equals. Then x plus b squared becomes x plus b times x plus b, which gives us x squared plus 2bx plus b squared. And we bring down the 4 in front of the brackets. So next we're going to bring down the 4x squared, the minus 4x. The 1 and the 15 will give us 16. And we bring down the plus ax. Then 4 by x squared is 4x squared. 4 by 2bx is plus 8bx. 4 by b squared is 4b squared. We're going to bring down the 4x squared, then we're going to factorise the minus 4x and the plus ax. We're going to take the x outside the bracket as the highest common factor. x into minus 4x leaves us with minus 4. x into ax leaves us with a, and bring down the plus 16. We're going to bring down the equals, the 4x squared, the 8bx, and the 4b squared. So then we have 4x squared on the left of the equal sign and 4x squared on the right of the equal sign. We can just cancel those out. Then we're going to put like to like. So x times minus 4 plus a has an x term in it and 8bx has an x term in it. So we're going to let them equal to each other. Get rid of the x's. We're not interested in those anymore. Only interested in the a's and the b's. So we have minus 4 plus a is equal to 8b. So we're going to bring the minus 4 over the equal sign to get the a in its own. So we have a equals 8b plus 4. Next we're going to put like to like again. So we're going to have 16 is equal to 4b squared. So the 16 and the 4b squared are the only terms that don't have x's or x squared stuck onto them. So 16 is equal to 4b squared. So we're going to divide across by 4 to get the b squared on its own. So 16 divided by 4 equals b squared. So 4 equals b squared. So then the squared is going to come over the equal sign and become square root. So we get b equals the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. So we're going to substitute 2 and then separately we're going to substitute minus 2 into 8b plus 4. So we have a equals 8b plus 4. We're going to swap the 2 for positive 2 this time. So 8 times 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20. So a is equal to 20. Or, if we're substituting minus 2, we have 8 times minus 2 is minus 16, and minus 16 plus 4 is minus 12. So B is equal to plus or minus 2, and A is equal to 20, or minus 12. 